Looking to buy a house, but you're concerned you might get caught up in a bidding war? Here are some strategies to increase your odds of getting your offer accepted. Did you know that in the past six months, eight out of 10 homes sold for at or above their listing price? and one in 10 had zero showings before that contract was signed. Here's some tips to help you get your offer accepted. Use a buyer's agent like about 85% of recent home buyers in Florida have. It costs you nothing and you have a lot to gain from the agent's knowledge of how the whole process works. Agents, of course, have access to the MLS, the multiple listing service. That's where properties are listed first, before Zillow and Trulia and all those other sites. It may be only a couple of hours, but that can make a difference in this market. I know on our MLS, in some cases, we may know days in advance of a coming soon listing before it's made public. Number two, encourage your agent to reach out to the listing agent. Find out some particulars of what the seller is looking for. They might need a quick close. They might be looking for an above listing price offer. This will help you and your agent put together a competitive offer. Number three, cash is king. Make a cash offer and have proof of funds available. Okay, I know most people aren't in a position to pay cash for a house, so make sure you get pre-approved for a mortgage and have your pre-approval letter in hand. It also may look more attractive to the seller if you use a local lender. Number four, pay attention to the listing agent's request. Many times they'll just ask you to submit your highest and best offer. With sellers getting so many offers these days, they may not be interested in the back and forth of negotiating with so many people. Number five, this would be for cash buyers, but you could consider waiving some contingencies, such as appraisal or inspection. Not highly recommended, but it is an option if you feel comfortable with it. Proceed with caution. Number six, figure out where you can be flexible. You'll need to act faster in the process, so know your must-haves versus your nice-to-haves before you start your search. Of course, don't buy a house you don't really like or want, but know the short list of things that are really important to you. Number seven, consider offering a more sizable earnest money deposit to set yourself apart from those who are offering the standard amount. Number eight, be flexible on the closing date, one that works good for the sellers. You could even consider renting back to the sellers until they are able to move. Number nine, the power of emotion. You could write a love letter or introduction letter to the seller or do it in video form. You're just trying to make a human connection, telling them a little bit about yourself, your story, and how awesome their house is. Just have your realtor check it out first to make sure no rules or ethics are being broken. Number 10, during your viewing of the home, be on your best behavior. Many places have surveillance now and they can see and perhaps even hear what you're saying. They might not want you to have their home if they hear you trash talking their kitchen that they put so much time and money into when they remodeled it a couple years ago. Number 11, be available to your realtor and respond quickly to messages. You don't wanna miss out on your dream home because you were binge watching Property Brothers for six hours before you got back to your realtor. Number 12, and really just try to be patient and not get emotional. Trust your agent to walk you through each step of the buying process. After all, that's what we're here for. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. If you like and subscribe, you'll have really good karma. I heard that on the internet somewhere, that's probably true. Uh, my contact information is down below if you have any questions about real estate in the area. And here's another video you might like to check out. Or this one's better, I think. Or wait, this one's really good.